Hey guys, it's the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle. So, in this package are some cubes that I thought were supposed to arrive Friday. So, I kept checking my email because the school emailed me whenever I get a package on Fridays or any day. And I did not get the email. So, then I checked back Saturday after the shipping shed, uh, the shipping said it arrived. But they don't, I mean, the mail room is not open on weekends, so I had to wait a whole weekend, and it was one of the longest weekends of my life. So as you can see from the title of this video, inside this package are all eight Diane gems. So here we have a bunch of stickers, we have two business cards, and I actually have to head to class in about five minutes. So I'm going to pull these all out, show you guys them, bubble wrap goes there. So here we have the three, the four, which one's this? Two. This is the the six. Oh, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Alex Devani the Nub has a video on that. Or he did an unboxing. I don't know if the video's up. This is the eight. Yeah. Where's the one? Five. Where's the one? Seven. This one better be the one. I believe it is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, I'm going to take all these out of the packaging. I will not do any turns until I get back to you guys. Alright, so I took them all out of the packaging. We have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I'm also late for class. Fun fact. So, let's just go ahead and do first turns. Uh, I don't know how most of these turn, to be completely honest. But I know this one turns like that. And I believe that might be it. I feel like it might jumble. Let's see, can it jumble? I don't want to like lose track of which is which because two of them are the exact same, or not the exact same. But for now, this turns that much. I'm not going to be scrambling scrambling them just yet. The two turns like that, and it seems like that's it. The three and the four are the same, just they turn differently. Three turns like that, and these faces turn. So the square ones and the those ones. This one are those. And I guess on the four, it's only these faces that turn. Oh, let's see if this can jumble. No, sorry if it's off camera a little bit. Here we have the five. Turns a little bit nicer than the rest. And it turns like that also. So the faces and the whole thing. The six, the most confusing looking one. And stickers are falling off. I thought this was a lot bigger. Compared to a 57 millimeter cube, here we have that. It's very small. I can wrap my whole hand around it. I can get a tight grip on it. Uh, this, from what I've heard, you can turn like that. One, two, three, four, five. And that sticker's falling off. A lot of these stickers are falling off, and it's catching. A lot. Wow. I'm going to have to crazy glue a bunch of stickers onto that. I already see a bunch that have been falling off. Here we have the seven. You can turn there. This is the one that can jumble up, I believe. Can it? Can that turn after? Yes, it can. Okay, so that's the one that can jumble. They can turn on both those faces. Then the eight turns exactly how you'd expect the tips and these outer ones. So, here are all the Diane gems. I'll have some good pictures of these. 
after I sticker them on my Facebook page, which you can click on the uh, it's in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead to class, which I'm definitely late for now. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when I start scrambling them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try and find out some algorithms for them, etc. So see you guys later. All right, so it's been about four days. It's uh, it's now currently Thursday by the time I'm recording this part, and I've solved all of them except for the seven. Uh, I had to watch a tutorial. Uh, let's see, for some of them, I watched a tutorial, then after like one minute of watching it, I kind of got the hang of it, and then I was able to get it. Such as for this one, the two, the three, the four I needed help with, the five, I pretty much got the hang of it after a uh, few minutes into the tutorial. It's the, the six, this took me 10 to 11 hours. I have notes with some algorithms on it. This, I actually, about a minute, or four minutes ago, I was working on it, trying to follow this tutorial that Twisty Puzzling has, and I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to do this from the uh, tutorial. So, I uh, haven't solved that yet, but I've solved everything else, including the eight a few times. My favorite one has to be the five, and uh, I'm actually going to quickly show you guys how they move again. Uh, the one moves like that, and it can also jumble. Like so. I did not scramble it with jumbling because that's just. I know how to do it without jumbling. Or with jumbling. Uh, so I just didn't want to have to take a lot more time to solve it. Then this one can turn along the edges like, that, uh, like the one, and it can turn on the faces. But it can also jumble. Such as right here. There's a jumbling move. This was pretty fun. The three and the four, I've been getting lots of questions, they look exactly the same, and that is true. However, on the three, you can only do face turning, including these square faces. However, on the four, you can only turn these hexagonal faces, and then you can do these deeper cuts. So you get you can do that on the four, you can't do that on the three. On the five, sorry, I'm a little out of order, it turns along these sides, and also through the middle, so sort of like three layers right there. This was really fun. It's the smoothest one, I think. Uh, the six is pretty much a Diana Wheel of Wisdom, but uh, imagine cutting down the, the corner and truncating it at three different sides, which reveals that piece. The piece that I'm moving, it reveals that piece, which makes it a little bit more difficult. It's like a super cube Diane Wheel of Wisdom with some extra pieces. It was very hard, but I finally got it. Stayed up until 4 last night doing it, and then I woke up this morning and then I solved it. But there's 30 sides on here, and I had to take a video of the color scheme before I actually scrambled it, and that was really helpful. Then on the 7, people say it looks like the 3 and 4, and it kind of does, but it looks like it, some of the faces are like squished in a way. Uh, this is such a pain to turn on these square sides. I actually hit the cube out of frustration once because I couldn't turn it. So that's how much force you kind of need for one turn. But So we can turn along those faces and these, and it can jumble like so. So just like that, you move pieces out of its orbit, or out of their orbit. And I did this one with jumbling, and I was able to get I was able to unjumble it, so I could have unjumbled these two. Then on the 8, you don't really need algorithms for this, but Alex Stevani the Nub, go check out his channel, he helped me out. Uh, we use the term ice cream cone a lot. This would be upside down ice cream cone, and this would be regular ice cream cone. I was not expecting that. It's very strange, I've never had it pop on me like that. I have had these little pieces pop out, but these are very easy to put back in. You just kind of put them in and push them in. So they pop out quite a bit, but I've never had these pieces pop out, or this. Anyways, it's a very fun puzzle. I think this is the the, the one with the best plastic, I guess. Like, it feels the, the second smoothest, I guess. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rank these by difficulty now. Okay, so I'd ha I couldn't really say which one was the easiest and which one was the hardest. Actually, I could say which one's the hardest, but uh, from... Like which one's easier than the next. I couldn't really do that, but I could say these three are definitely the easiest one. The gem one, the gem five, and the gem two. Then the gem eight, the gem three, and the gem four 
I would all consider to be like medium difficulty, and then the hard ones would be the gem 7 and then the gem 6. The gem 6, I would have to say, is the most difficult one. And uh, if you don't have a Diane Willow with them, it might be a little bit more difficult because I did use some algorithms that I found from that. So there's my difficulty easy, medium, hard, this being the hardest, this being the most fun in my opinion. Uh, and also, a lot of people seem to like this one. I've heard a lot of people enjoying that one. I'm very happy I got this whole entire series, and I can't wait to see if there are any more additions to the series. And if there are, I'll definitely keep up with it. And uh, if anybody knows about a Gem 9, let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. But anyways, I had a lot of fun with all of these puzzles. I will figure this out. It's going to bug me for a long time, but I will figure it out. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are G-E-M. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.